Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today because of all the weapon I have. It's a lot of damage that's coming through that little 9mm. Uh, at least I think it's a 9mm, I'm pretty sure it is. It says right there, and I have a lot of 9mm rounds. I thought I had more. Hmm, I think it already equipped. I'm pretty sure it are equipped the... Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, we're good. We're good, because we're going to Krasnos that many. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Last episode, we found a uh, hermit over there, I believe it was. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something over there, and there's something over here, and over there. There's just many places for us to go to. But now, we go to the big city. And here, and it's not looking very promising... Here we're gonna finally, well, maybe it is actually, uh, we're gonna finally see if this is a rescue of the old civilization. If we're gonna find just people going around their daily, normal lives in their cars and going to cinema. It doesn't look like it, but, you know, it could be, I don't know. Oh no. All those lines about this and that that I said only make sense in a modern society and not in a post-apocalyptic world. They're not gonna make sense in this world. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm sort of exploring, because I'm not sort of exploring, I'm absolutely exploring, this place is enormous. Also, this is pretty, I like it. That, this place is just gigantic. Yeah, oh, we can zoom in and out, great, okay, uh, well, it's not as far away, no, yeah, it's not as big as it might have seemed at first. Something over there, but n there's nothing over there. We got a truck over here. We have people! We have farms! Oh yeah, we have farms. Look at that. Sunflower, I suppose for making diesel. Unless they have the refinery still working, which would be a huge surprise. Let's see. Hello. I suppose oil as well. Sunflowers are good for... And just eating. We got things in here. What do we have? An empty bottle. And, a, and canned meat. Absolutely. And look at them. Having all their clothes and things. Hello, sir. A young bearded member of the local militia follows you with his gaze. All while sighing for some unknown personal reasons. His assault rifle hangs from a belt covered by camo pattern. Life as a cop has its kicks. That's the wrong it's, but sure. As long as you're okay getting up around six, he says. Are you rhyming just just now? How's life in the city, if I may ask? Pretty well, Krasnos Nameni is getting bigger every day. A few days ago, we uncovered a pre-war building project. Just the project. Just like the plans? Is that what you mean? Now the people are scrapping it for resources. Oh, you a pre-war building. Right. This means the outskirts of the town will grow even more. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. You have a lot of bricks over there, by the way, for your corrugated steel houses. What sort of interesting places can I visit in the city? Oh, there's a lot of those. A bookstore, many traders with items fit for any need. There's a, tra a tavern, a gambling house, even a brothel. And if you are the superstitious type, there are even activities meant for you. I... it's good. Uh, so... what what do people gossip about? They talk about everything. Many a thing goes down in the wasteland each day. Speak to the people yourself if you're interested, comrade. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Nothing to be able to ask about him, can I? Maybe... no. No, I can't. Interesting. It's the first person... well, not necessarily... not, not the first person. But if... I wonder if this city is gonna be filled with people with not those four stock uh, questions that we keep seeing over and over. In different NPCs. Got some cows. Okay. Somebody. Welcome to die. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. The cow's very upset. Okay. This looks pretty cool, actually. Hi. Oh, that's me. Okay. Hi. Is it is it you? Yes, it is. Mr. Small Bearded Man. It's actually... This is... This is a pretty heavy area on the... You can see the, the stuttering here. This is plain... Uh, I can't tell you... Yeah, I can't move my mouse outside of the screen. Um, I can't tell you if my CPU... It's, probably, it's definitely not the CPU. It's, it's all graphics. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's got... It's, 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 it's putting a strain. This is locked. Just because you're... 
paranoid doesn't mean you're wrong. That's... I don't remember where I read that or heard that, but that is a thing. I failed to break the lock. Which... Oh. Oh, <gasps> I can't? They don't let me? This is good, because I, I was able to... Oh, geez, sure. Oh. Interesting. I was able to do, try it the first time. And I've, did, I've done it. Let's go in. I'm sure there's not, not going to be anybody in here. For toilet paper and waste paper. Sure. You think toilet, the waste paper is the toilet paper, but it is not. Let's have a chat with this girl over here. Hi. I feel like having a stroll, she says. Before you stands a young, skinny woman with tired eyes and long, pale hands. Upon seeing you, she gives you a nod. Hello, can I ask you some questions? And she says, yes. Uh, how's life around here? Oh, it's not too bad, she says. There's strength in no in numbers, you know. It's a nice enough city, constantly developing and all that. And there's a lot of work to be done all around, though. Yep, that's about it, I guess. Uh, what about yourself? What can I tell about myself? Well, my name is Tanya. I live here with my mother. She's gotten very old and has many infirmities, especially this year. She nags me all the time to find a husband, says I'm getting old, soon to be 30. But how is she... Well... That's the first time the game is also wrong about that. Well, I suppose, I mean, I, I, I thought, you know, yeah, 30 is young, I suppose. It's just, she's saying, she, saying exactly the opposite. It's all relative, isn't it? I figured it was, it was, she was going to be like, you know, 20 or something. Um, anyway, she's gotten very old uh, and has many infirmities, especially this year. She's getting old, but how will she live, she asks, if I marry someone? I, th is that a real question? She won't cope with me. She won't? And I won't leave her because of it. Well, then there's no problem. Suitors are always easy to find. Someday I go to the dance hall and there's tons of guys asking me for a dance. Not to get married, though. Probably She probably should tell you that there's a difference there. Um, so tell me about yourself. No, that was... She told me about her mom. Anyway, what's new in town? New? Hmm. Well, I, do you like music? Our tech whiz from the dance club crafted some speakers. A speaker from each of the four corners of the hall. Now you can dance there, surrounded by music. You know, from all sides. It's so good, you never want to stop. Uh, well... Heard any good, good rumors lately? I heard some nut jobs settle in the sewers. There's a sewers? I love it. It's dry down there now, since we don't have anyone who'd like to become a plumber. Some... Okay, I see what you mean. Some boys who went down there said all the walls of the pipes are covered in weird, rude drawings. And the creep himself, he started spying on the city girls. From the sewers? If a girl is walking near the sewer entrance wearing a skirt, this bastard is right there eyeing her, making whistling sounds. What a creepo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that's that, really. Thank you for letting me uh, steal that stuff. I see things. Look at that. I'm pressing Alt. Oh, it's inside. Okay, can I go in? <gasps> I can. Just not right now. Like that guy said something about crumbs. Or something. Ooh, there's a lot of people in here. Buy the currency of the future, he says. Okay, I wonder what that is. Probably gonna be caps. Or something. That would be a, a nice reference. And he'd have all this story behind how we can't sustain ourselves on ruble or ru rubles alone because fiduciary and this and currency that. Come on. There's potatoes in here. Do you see the potatoes? It's the best room. Okay, I'm really bad at this. Uh, let's see. Lock picking. Oh, I definitely need to be better at this. Okay, I'll, I'll be. As long as I don't break the lock, I'll okay, I'm okay with this. Maybe. Oh, we did it. I was just about... <laughs> I was just about to... It was for nothing as well. Uh, I was just about to, to bring my skill up. We got a magnifying glass for extra tinkering. How do you do that? Just having it in your inventory? No. You need to have it equipped, most likely. You can actually use it as a melee weapon. No, we can't, actually. It's a punch. It works as a punch. It's not Minecraft. Okay, let's go outside. Crypto. Oh no. <sighs> okay, it's caps locks. Caps locks? Sorry. <laughs> Bottle caps. <laughs> Better say caps locks. <laughs> 
It's bottle cap bottle caps. That is uh that's what he's referencing. Before you stands a thin, tall man wearing a bathrobe and some sleepers. Upon seeing you, he livens up. Oh hello! Please could you ask me how I know that you are a person deeply interested in learning of modern bottle caps? Uh I how do you know? Uh uh how do you know that? Oh, did you know that uh, bottle caps went from 0 to 1% in the wasteland in just the last year? And it's... Uh, uh, oh, the, the bottle caps literacy, literacy, that's what he says. And it's not all because of meeting automated computerized turrets on old military bases. Nope. The... Uh, uh, thanks. 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 Not interested. Bye. Just not interested. No. The man wearing a dusty character car car Karate uniform looks at you and uh, haughtily he stops you with a harsh hand gesture Actually, what is the harsh hand gesture? What is that? Is like he's, is he flipping me off because that sounds like what he that sounds what it is Many still hold on to stereotypes of the 90s believing that oh no not okay. Okay. Let's give these guys a chance Let's give these guys a chance, but I'll voice you my complaints here. This makes no sense. Can I just say that this makes no sense? Because it makes no sense. Can I open that and make sure that I save all the things? Cryptocurrency is not even 2000s. It's 2013, I think, when it was first really thing. And, like, there's so many problems on this that it's out of tone. Out of tone. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's just see what he says about the cryptocurrency. Uh, the digit... Oh, yeah, it says the digital age has come. A technical... Technologically literate person. Also, technology is more than just IT. IT stands for information technology. Technology is anything that is, you know, not... Actually, it's a lot of things. I was going to say that it's not made of wood. No, no. Yeah, technology is also can make, can be made of wood, like a shovel is technology. IT is a different thing. I mean, it's, it's a specific type of technology. Can I rant about that? Because I will rant about that. Anyway, a techno an IT literate person, he says, should start saving money in the most digital way there is. How do I do that? Easy! Do you have, say, a thousand rubles? If so, I would gladly trade those for... And the man searches the pockets of his robes while wearing a long, happy green. Of course, he's gonna get a thousand rubles. He's not, because I don't have them. For this pine cone! It's smaller than a wad of cash, and no bandit will ever think to steal it. But between you and me, its price will be a thousand rubles. And any other cryptocurrency dealer will see it as a thousand rubles. This is how it all works. It's actually a... A not a half bad joke at the expense of crypto cryptocurrency, even though it's not technically correct. But it it still doesn't fit the theme, and it's very out of place. And I am not ashamed at all that I said I don't like this pie. <laughs> when I, when I, yeah. Uh, so how many traders take pine cones as? Do you guys know what what cryptocurrency is? I don't think this game is gonna tell us anything new about cryptocurrency. It's, it's not it's not half bad as jokes go, but anyway, how many traders take pine cones as currency? It does seem strange. Uh, it does seem strange, says the narrator, that your simple question makes the dealer take a step back and go pale. Well, currently it's just me. Although even I can only trade pine cones for rubles one way, meaning you won't get your cash back. But in the future, in the foreseeable future, with an exclamation mark and two dots after that. Many would take up cryptocurrency more than 10% of the population, and that's just the start. With, an again, another exclamation mark and two dots, and again, this... And uh, not again, sorry. And now the half, the, the half good joke crumbles. As somebody who has never mind, I did some uh, folding at home back in 2009, which is more or less what it is, well, in terms of computational operations anyway um, this this doesn't it's it it, 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 it. let I'll, I'll talk I'll talk about it at the end so just like I thought take a hike buddy maybe you'll find someone dumb under there yourself eventually I say anyway so the problem with this is that cryptocurrency can and is exploited for this sort of stuff but if he were the only person, like, you don't buy cryptocurrency from people who made it up. 
you buy cryptocurrency for people who either bought it or who have mined it themselves, right? This is pretty simple. And the mining is a thing that takes work. That's I think that is basically how the, the I think that how they call it the work or is it the work or trouble they have a name for it like depending on how many people are mining it they change the value and change the the required work for getting any one coin uh is that the police that i or the police officer that i talked to before let's see um let's get you over here no it is not so we're going to talk to him so it doesn't really work with a pine cone thing but if he said oh i bought this from somebody else and that that would be a little bit better or if that like instead of being a pine coin or a pine cone, it were like this paper all fold, folded up in a very complex way that took time to do, but it was just a knickknack. That would be interesting. That would be a, a better a better um, analogy. Still wouldn't be a fu funny, still wouldn't be appropriate at all, because this is... Th this The world ended in 1985, and uh, we're in 2005, and uh, there's many other problems with that. Anyway, before you stands a stocky, cleanly shaven man in a dirty shirt and work pants. In his hands, he plays with a cigarette, nervously. I said, amazing, can I ask you something else? I don't know what I asked him, but uh, he looks over with disgust. Of course he does. So how's life out here? Uh, everywhere is like that, I guess. Shitty, I mean. Those idiots from the shroom cult yap about unity and development. Well, I get where they're coming from with those sentiments, but I'll never accept the, those bleeding heart ideals of theirs. Enough with all that damned Marxism, I say. These dreams of utopias brought us into this whole nuclear mess in the first place. Is that the general sentiment of uh, Russia? I mean, this is 1995 Russians, though. I thought I thought people I don't know actually I've I've met some people from from the, from the, uh, it's, I don't, it's not the word Eastern Bloc it's not the word that's specifically Russia I think Eastern Bloc is that what it is I don't know but I've I've met some people who uh, grew up in in uh, pre in the USSR basically well I met online I the only Russian I I know is. Actually, I do know two Russians uh, personally, but anyway, they, they're young people like me. But I get the impression that they really hate the whole Marxism thing, so they wouldn't be bleeding hard ideals at all. It would be like, ah, oh, it's the worst thing, they, they, they screw us all or something, or I don't know. I, I'm just not into the inside of the politics there, so I, I can't really tell. Tell me about this mushroom cult. The man spits in disgust and sniffs, and he spits more, again. Just an average cult, you know? The dress, they dress like women, folk, and they preach about world peace. Is it like the hippies? Oh yeah, it probably is, because it's mushrooms. See, this is appropriate, even though it's a little bit 10 years or 20 years too late, but still, it's hard to look at them without cringing. Freedom equally, sorry, freedom, equality, brotherhood, my ass. Okay. Canis canem lupus est. That means dog uh, eats dog in Latin. And if you don't like it, you can get out. Uh, sure. That's, yeah, I suppose. Uh, so, well, I guess you're not gonna get eaten if you get out. Hmm? Is that how it works? Anyway, tell me about yourself. Some curious fella you are. What's there to say? I cope as well as I can. I feel glad each morning I wake up. Because I don't die, I didn't die in the night. I feel even better when I notice nobody robbed me or cubbed me up. Cut me up, not cut me up, that's a different thing. Great, life is a real carnival ride, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, so what's new in town? Don't know, something new always happens, but nobody tells me about it. I wonder why, I wonder why. Have you heard any rumors lately? I did hear about some dude going around the wasteland, asking people questions like, how's life, and what can you tell me about yourself? Dude always fi fishes for rumors. I fear that one of those, uh, one of these days, he'll come up to me and start chatting me up. You fear? Nah, I don't think so. You, you're putting out plenty of signals that uh, you're, you're not, you're not into the chatting type. Certainly not the chatting up type. Okay, get all that stuff, and uh, we have scrap metal over here. Very good, very, very good. Because actually, I should look at the crafting here. Do you have anything new? We do have the corn meat. That's the experiment that we did. So, the round. So, this is specifically for the zip, ra zip gun rounds. Because a shot round is also that. Yeah, yeah. So, these are all for the zip gun. Uh, but I think they, do they also work for any handmade weapons. 
So if I ever make another weapon, which I probably will, well, hopefully I will, um, then I should be okay there. Anyway, let's uh, see what this man has to say, because he also was saying something about the currency and whatnot. Many still hold to the stereotypes of the 90s, believing that cryptocurrency traders are all crooks. I have no idea what he means. I, had, I have no idea. Am I in the wrong here? Were there cryptocurrency traders in the 90s enough to have stereotypes? Wow. I don't... Anyway, or that business is hard and not meant for women. That's a stereotype of the 90s. Specifically of the 90s. Sure. My partner over there breaks most of these stereotypes by simply existing. You talk to him, you'll see. And I'm here. I, did I miss something? I... I'm sorry. How was that? I... Okay. The fighter, he's a fighter, shows off his slightly, slightly muscular arm. Judgy, huh? <laughs> As a Yojimbo, he says, an Asian bodyguard. Wait a minute, what the... Freak? What have you just said? Oh, he said something else. You talk to him and you'll see, and I'm here as a Ujimbo, uh, an Asian bodyguard. You're not Asian. I mean, maybe you are. Does it, no, yeah, he might be. Because, yeah, he... I... Sorry. I... Yeah, I'm sorry. He might be just Eastern Russian, and he's still he's Asian, right? That's... I'm sorry. I, can, I, I don't actually know how to tell the, the you know, the facial... The typical facial um, uh, structure and all that from, from Eastern Russians. I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe maybe there's not that much of a difference, j just generally speaking. Uh, you don't really look Asian. Oh, well, my character can tell, though. Or like a bodyguard. I suppose. I mean, let's see. That's what you think, he says. I'm the strongest of fighters and the most dangerous of killers. Don't you dare check my skills. Uh, can you teach me some moves? The man awkwardly stands on one leg. Shaking a bit, he slowly lifts the other leg into the air. Okay, that, that is phenomenal. But I don't know if that is... I've seen this happen in the game and I said... I said that that was phenomenal, but it turns out that he's just... He first put the other leg down before he lifted the other leg into the air. Let's see if he's actually levitating. Stance of the Hawk, with an exclamation mark and two dots. I don't think he's levitating. But it does sound like it, doesn't it? Or maybe not. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's standing on one leg, and the other leg, he's lifting it into the air. He's, into the air. He's doing it like a that uh, ballet thing. The move. I know this has got a name. It's like a f pretty famous name. Uh, so I don't know. The martial artist hastily puts his leg down and puts his hands on his hips. Sorry, but even in a place like Krasnos and Ameni, they would chase me out for basically giving you weapons of mass destruction like that. Sure. Sure. Sure thing they would. Sure thing they would. We got people with masks. We have corn cobs. We have this fellow over here, I believe, is the one... Yes, he is. And this lady over here is the young lady who's, who says, who, who's, whose grandmother says she's not young anymore. Or getting old or something. Let's go around. Very nice knack, n n knack of the ho of the woods over here. I was gonna say knock of the woods, uh, of the hoods rather. That's what I was gonna say, but that was wrong. Ooh, got all this stuff. Hey, did I talk to you, sir? I'm sorry. Hi. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Before he stands, a tall man in an aged gray short sleeved shirt is constantly constantly looking around and biting his nails. On his skinny face is fixed a look of contempt. I don't know what I'm replying to, but my character says. Amazing. Can I ask you something else? I have no idea. I think that's some mistranslation and he's missing a line over there or something. What? Okay. I ask away if you need to. So how's life out here? Kind of question is that? Well, leave. That's all. I, if you can call it living, I'd spit in the face of anyone who asks, who says that it's a good life. And who's to blame? I can tell you that. The nosy ones. Yeah, his, his lines are all over. Uh, so, uh, tell me about yourself. Anatoly Babkus, at your service. Well, maybe not. Or, yep, maybe not at all. Today, you can't trust nobody. Not a bit. With all the shit going on around here, we need a leader, you know? But everywhere, there's nothing but them pederasts. Which I knew what it meant. But now I don't. I believe 
It has uh, something to do with uh, either uh, it's racketeering or uh, it's kidnapping, but I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. He, there's more than just the pederasts. There's nothing but them pederasts, politicians, and foreigners. Not my type, which you bundle all those together. I mean, I don't know what pederast is. Maybe that's the li link. Anyway, not my type of crowd, you know? No, not at all. Not like before. No, nope, nope. Not like before? Okay. So maybe they were his type of crowd before. What happened? What's new in town? Oh, did I ask you? Uh, ask him about you? Yes. Uh, oh, it's okay. See how big the city is? It was even so small at the start. So small. It's actually, it was actually better when it was small. Yep, it'd be better if it stayed small, though. I, it's not really big even now, but it, it, it's a huge, big is a huge word, you know? No, no, it's not big at all. No, no not big at all. Uh, so you let people yap, and they'll call every, everything anything. Like, for example, they'll call a small city big. Yep. Okay, yeah. So, heard any good rumors lately? I always hear rumors around here. Everyone is yapping all the time. And there's no meaning in what they say, though. But I heard an interesting rumor recently. Uh, some people who I can trust. Sorry, whom I can trust. Uh, they, they said a terrible monster came into the wastes. A man-eater. It's like in Pathologic. Except not... If you might know what that was as a reference to. Uh, a tall as a three-story house. Fanged, scale-looking, savage. Actually, it might be. It might be a reference to Pathologic. And he eats people... Nah. It's he eats people. It might be a mistranslation, but... Yeah, that, that's kind of fundamental to the whole man-eater situation in Pathologic anyway. And he eats people for fun. Just for laughs. It's his hobby, you see. Eating people. It's very scary. Very terrible, indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, talk to you later, I suppose, you freak. Hi! Work, 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 says this lady. Before you stands a small woman with a pointed face. Her greasy hair is in a thin knot on the back of her head. Her eyes look wet. Hey, can I ask you some questions? And finally, a, a, an intro that wasn't weird. What questions? Ask away, but do it quickly. So how's life? Oh, we live just great. So great, it sometimes seems better to go hang yourself or jump into, into a hole in the ground than lie than leave this marvelous marvelous life of ours. Take my husband, for example. Has he an even uglier mug than yours? He started drinking, and them kids, they scream all the damn time. They're hungry. I think I'll be better off if I just die. If they just die, not I. I hate them all, she says. Oh, boy. Talk about yourself, then. Oh, you. What? You want to make me as your take me as your wife, huh? Nope, I'm not telling about myself to any traveling hobo. You go and chat up some sluts. They'd be more fitting company for someone like you. Look at you, asking about my life. Who do you think you are? Even Bigolov, the Grigzop Gigolo? I don't know what kind of movies you've been watching lately. I'm sorry about that and your husband. But all, everything. What's new in town? In the city? Did I say this town? Did I say the city? I said town, and she says in the city. Ah, nice joke. It's not even a city, it's a dump. A rotten d dump uh, in a pigsty. Nothing new can ever ca happen here. I don't even want to think about it, and about all its people. That's the wrong it's, but sure. All those bums and... Yeah, okay. I... It's... It, yeah, I... I mm, uh, so, heard any uh, good rumors lately? The gal say there's some pervo on the loose. A sexual predator, you know? You must be him! With that ugly mug of yours. You look... Yeah. Oh my god. Seriously, game? Anyway. Well, that's gonna be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.